few weeks ago I did a, a few videos on my DIY armature rewind, you know, my magneto. Uh, and just a quick little uh, video now. I didn't show you in my last videos how I um, managed to solder this really fine wire on to my primary winding before I started to, to put the uh, 11,000 turns of wire on. So I thought I'd just do a quick video of me soldering and fixing this wire on and how I did it with a transition wire. And if you want to catch up on my other videos, when I did me prototype magneto rewind, not, not my ma magneto rewind, my prototype coil winder for my magneto rewind, if you want to catch up on them parts, that'll, uh, that'll fill you in on everything. So in this video, I'm just going to, I'm on my second armature now, I'm just going to show you how I got the uh, this very fine wire onto my primary winding. So I've got my primary winding onto my, uh, onto my armature now, all the wires are connected and I've given it a coater anti-tracking varnish uh, and I've soldered this blue transition wire on to go from my 0.8 primary dia 0.8 diameter primary wire and this wire will then be soldered onto this very fine wire once I've got it in lathe because I've got to do this in lathe because it you've got to, it's got to be connected and all connected to the machine ready for turning so <clears throat> basically I've made this little block of wood up, tacked as a little table, and what I do, because this wire is only three thou, three thou diameter, so what I gently do is thread it through my machine, it's coming through the nozzle here, and I just gently wipe some very worn emery cloth over the wire, like this, to get the insulation off so that when I attach it to the transition wire and I've got a good connection so once I've done that with emery cloth I get my multimeter on to continuity siren and I just double check that I've took all that uh, insulation off when I've got it switched on See, I've not quite got it all off there, it's not making contact. So I need to do a bit more work on that. <clears throat> right, so I've given it a few more little whites with emery cloth. And now I've got, I've got a reading in that, that area where I've got the insulation off. So what I shall do now... I shall put my armature in lathe and then carefully prepare that blue wire and, and wrap this wire around it then put a dab of solder on. Right, so just off camera, because I've had to move camera to get to, to um, it's a bit fiddly to do, what I've done, I've securely fastened all these wires back for primary winding and um, the one that connects to points I fastened them back with tape back to, to armature so they don't interfere when, when lathe's turning so they're securely fastened now I've got my wire down here this blue wire stripped and prepared ready to solder and what I'm going to do I'm just going to off camera round all this primary wire I'm just going to put a layer of this um, glass fibre tape round ready ready for when I to start winding but I've got to do that before I solder it or I can't get to, to put it on so I'm just going to put a layer of this white uh, glass fibre tape round this primary winding then I'm ready for soldering that um, very fine wire on so just bear with me while I do that right 
I don't know how good you're going to be able to see this because this wire it's, it's that fine it's very difficult to see but I'll just point to everything here's me here's my little nozzle that where, where the wires coming through and I don't know if you can quite see the wire on the video but I've turned my spotlight off on my lathe to stop any glare and what I've done if you can see this blue wire here I've carefully cleaned the insulation off the fine wire and you've got to be really careful because it snaps ever so easy. And what I've done, I've done for about roughly 15 turns around the end of this blue wire. And what I shall do now, just put a blob of solder on to catch it all. Uh, and I've used this wooden block here as a table so I can I keep everything steady. It. You've got to be careful. You've got to, so you've got to make sure that that's properly connected. Now, now that's soldered on. I'll just take that tape off. Before I soldered it on, let me just release it off this table. Before I soldered it on, I put a bit of insulation lower down so I can pull that insulation up and uh, and cover that that bare wire then I can start what lay me, me first few layers on and I'll show you that when I've just got this insulation pulled up because I can't do it because cameras in the way it's, it's the insulation so I'll just pull that insulation up right I've got the in the insulation round this older joint now and what I've done just to keep everything in place I've just put a dab of super glue onto that yellow insulation just just a dab on that side to to fasten it to the uh, the other insulation that side of it that way it keeps it in place while you're trying, while you're not trying, while you're getting uh, this very fine wire, I don't even know if you can see it on camera. While you get that fine wire, a few turns manually to start it round to core, not core, right primary winding. So that's what I'm going to do now. But I, I can't video it because I can't get camera of it lathe close enough. Because I need, I need room. So I'm just going to manually take that wire around about 10 turns now. Just to get it fixed and started. Right, I've, I've just been off camera for about 20 minutes. Because you've really got to take your time getting these first few windings on. Because preparations, everything into it. And if, if you set off bad then you can never get it back right. So what, what you've got to do, you've got to make sure that where this wire has been soldered on, if, if you can see where I'm pointing, there's the yellow insulation. I've put a dab of Loctite just to, just to lock that insulation in place so that that can't move. And then carefully, by hand, I've carefully put about, or I'll tell you on my counter, I've put 20... 25 layers on, it, coils not layers, 25 coils and the first the first couple of two or three coils where this wire uh, comes out from the prime from the primary transition wire where this fine wire comes out 
you've got to try and it ain't got to be slight, but you don't want no excess tension on it because any any tension it'll just snap. Now I'm no I'm no expert. This is a DIY magneto rewind, as you've seen in my last in my nine part series which I did on my first one. I made this uh, prototype coil winder, and I've I've made a, a better job on it now. I've finished it off. So I'm no expert, but I'm just trying to pass on some some pointers that that I'm finding while I'm learning doing this. So where that wire comes out, do everything by hand for the first twenty turns. I would say now professionals out, out there might laugh at me, but you know I'm not like I said I'm not an expert, so I'm just learning. And I've put twenty turns on by hand, and I've used this little pointer like a pencil that's sharpened to a point and as I'm going on I'm just teasing them together to make sure they're all in line not slack and no tension on this point where it comes off the transition wire oh and by the way on top of that uh, fibre glass insulation I've just put a layer of captain tape that's that it, it, that's that other type of insulation tape which I use to divide all these layers up which I'm going to do I've just done that to belt and brace it so I'll just pick camera up and go in a bit closer because I'm, a, I'm very limited for space doing this I don't, know if it, I don't even know if it'll focus and I can't put my light on because it dazzles so can you, if you can see that, I've got about 25 layers on there. I don't know if it's focusing properly, sorry. And they, they, they tie it together, they're not slack. Uh, and now I'm ready for putting power on lathe and taking a run across. So, that's where I'm up to now. So, <clears throat> I just thought I'd, I'd share that bit with you because I know I didn't do it on my other videos because everything were a bit tentative and I, I weren't quite sure what I were doing anyway so this is my second attempt now and no sorry it's my third attempt this is my third one and I'm, I'm picking up uh, pointers each time I do one D different ways of doing it so uh, let me just set camera again Right, so I've just set uh, I've just set lathe running now on, with power feed and everything, so we're in full power automation now. Um, like I said, you've got to be careful with them first 25. I have put 25 coils on to get it all lined up and everything. And then once you're all lined up, it's just a, it's just a matter of getting your feeds and your speeds right and making sure your your spool. Your, your wheel on your top here, on top of the fixture, making sure everything is nice and free running. You don't want no tight spots because it'll just the wire will just snap. Anyway, I thought I'd just update you on that because I know I didn't show it on my first one because, like I said, I were I were doing everything by trial and error then. So, thanks for watching anyway, and I'll catch you on my next video. Right, just a quick update before I do leave you. I said I was leaving you last time, but I managed to put, put my speed up a bit this time, so I'm, I'm experimenting with speed. And I'm going a lot faster than I was last time. So, there we are then. I, I think that's uh, just about exhausted this project for you. So thanks for watching again and uh, I'll catch you on my next project.